And now I'm gonna move on to my review of Reacher. So I binged the crap out of Reacher over the weekend and I didn't know if I was going to do that. I kind of went into the first episode and the second episode a little, you know, tentatively. I didn't know if it was gonna be as cool as I had hoped because I am a fan of the Tom Cruise Jack Reacher movies, especially the first one. I think they did some really cool work there, uh, you know, based on this uh, ex-military guy that has this superpower intelligence and all kinds of fighting skills and just an innate kind of detective sensibility. He's kind of like Batman without the costume in a lot of ways. He's very self-assured. He doesn't need a lot of extra peripheral stuff around him. But one thing that we heard a lot of from fans of the Jack Reacher novels written by Lee Child is that Tom Cruise was just too diminutive in stature to really live up to the way the character is described. So enter Alan Richson, who is a giant of a man. You've seen him in the Titans TV show, and I think back in the day he was on Smallville. He's popped up in a bunch of cool things along the way. And I, he's always impressed me as an actor, but no more so than in Reacher, which feels like the role was like hand-built for this guy. One of the key phrases that you hear throughout this series out of, out of season one is almost everybody that meets him is like, man, you're a giant. How do you find clothes that fit you? Like he is just constantly reminded of how large he is. And he is, he's massive. And I don't know if they cast, you know, on purpose, lots of smaller actors <laughs> beside him, but he just, he dwarfs everybody. He's just a massive giant of a dude and he's buff as hell. And he just looks in invincible. He looks like a superhero around regular folks and uh, what happens in this first season is he's just a guy that goes where he wants to go he doesn't pack a bag or anything like that he's he just shows up in this small georgia town he's wanting to kind of explore some blues music in this town and he gets caught up in this crazy murder mystery that uh, it wraps around some of the stuff that ties to his past and he gets caught up he gets accused first of all because he's a stranger in a small town and he kind of gets out of that because he's got a perfect alibi and he's not the killer he's the hero obviously uh, and then he starts to kind of work with the local police department to try to figure out what the hell is going on because people keep dying reacher has got a very specific way about him he doesn't take a lot of crap from anybody and he'll beat the crap out of anyone and you just see alan richson really just kind of revel in these moments there's a lot of john wick style combat nothing as elegant and as artfully done as what we'll see in john wick but there's some brutality and there's some pretty well choreographed fight sequences for sure. And there's also a really interesting cast of supporting characters, which kind of brought a little Elmore Leonard kind of vibe to this. I guess this is from the Lee Child books, incredibly popular novels. I've never read any of them, but there is this intelligence that permeates throughout all of this. And I, I was impressed by that. I was impressed by the range and the, the flair that the, the, the supporting actors and the character actors that populate the show all bring to the table. They've got cool lines and they've got... Uh, interesting backstories and they've got interesting moments with Reacher and I like the fact that there's an honesty to calling out that this guy is a giant and he just gets away with all of his stuff but he's also a pretty heavy thinker and he's got logic on his side but they confront that it's not just like some big shock and awe by this character there's a real sort of like trying to get to the bottom of who this person is and there is this moment where Reacher crosses the line and he's befriended a cop played by Willa Fitzgerald character named Roscoe and uh, they have a, a, a nice relationship that's percolating throughout the series but Reacher crosses a line and where you would see in any other sort of procedural cop drama where you know somebody does something that would get them in trouble you'd see the cop admonish that other character there is just this abject silence and these two characters look at each other and there was just this really wonderful sense of honesty in that moment and I realized this is a special show this is you know obviously using a lot of tropes and things that we have seen in in cop shows and and crime thrillers throughout the ages even from the Jack Reacher movies there are elements that we have seen employed in other things before but there is this undercurrent of intelligence and uh, freshness about this and I feel like everybody involved knew they had something special and they didn't want to drop the ball and they built something pretty cool. Now, the show doesn't end gracefully. It does devolve into kind of 1980s kind of <laughs> explosions and, and uh, you know, over the top silliness and people are leaping and jumping. And it just it turned into like some weird 
cop show from the 1980s or 90s. It felt really heavy handed and not quite as elegant as the rest of the season that had preceded these final moments, but it didn't completely take me out of it by any means. I was just a little bit let down by the way that the show wraps up for this first season. But more than anything, it gave me this sense of curiosity of where this series is gonna go to next. It was immediately renewed by Amazon Prime Video, so apparently a lot of people binge the hell out of this show. And I think you should. I think it's pretty damn fun, especially if you like the Tom Cruise Reacher flicks. This is a slightly different take with an interesting character that's well-realized and uh, some really fantastic acting work in there. Loved Willa Fitzgerald as Roscoe and also loved Malcolm Goodwin as Oscar Finley. There are some bad guys in there that go a little bit over the top, but it is fun to see them being taken down by Reacher. He's a badass. I'm going to give Reacher season one an eight out of 10.